and see in the place to be and see hi all and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all fine guys um here on this video i just want to show you why you could have the problem that you just cannot detect your bios chip um i'm gonna now show you why you could have this problem so i got here on the left side you can see um this is a small pcb which you can just solder your bios chips on it and i got on the right side also one but this one here is more use it that's uh yeah this one here is about one year old and this one here is uh, brand new let's say maybe just about one month um i'm gonna now show you what happens with the time and uh, i'm gonna also just um tell you what you can do just that this small PCB is gonna last a little bit longer time as just normally. Um, you have here, I'm gonna show you that on this one here because this one here is newer, just that you guys can compare. Um, I have right now no tree pot, that means I'm just recording that all by myself. So here um, I'm gonna now just zoom a little bit in and you can see, um, sorry if uh, I will just shake too much, I'm gonna maybe just try to uh, put it over here. So wait, and then I'm gonna just disable the lights. Yeah, we can let it out like that. So um, you can see here this. Um, let me take this lights down a little bit. Yes, yeah, why not? Okay, um, you can also see you got your um, what called soldering pads. You see them? They are really long, and they go really all the way up. See that? So. Um, so okay you can see that really really great this is uh, the pads the where the contacts are so the, the contact pads or i don't know how to call it in english so these are the uh, the contact pads they i think they are called like that um they are still there so this is here the trace the the contact line and you can see here the number seven and all here number five goes down so these are all the trace lines or the the lines the contact lines um you can also see here on this um contact lines let's say on this pads uh, all is still okay so here you have everywhere contact that means if you just try to place your bias chip over there you're going to be able to solder it right now because all the contacts are still there um now i'm gonna just put this one here on the front somehow <laughs> wait and then just take a look now on the difference see that so this one here was used it already a long time or a lot of time so or let's say more often and um, you can see here up it begins that this contact pad or this uh, soldering pad here uh, it just gets burned with the time and here it goes the same I'm gonna try to zoom even more so <clears throat> and there you can see now you have really no contact so the people's maybe gonna just place the bios chip over there and then you're gonna just solder but it will have no contact and that's the problem the chip has just no contact you maybe don't know why and here's the reason so here you're gonna maybe be able to solder it on on the yeah down on the side see that so here <clears throat> but uh, you're gonna have no uh, contact over there so maybe it's better now with the lights i think yes okay that's what i wanted to show you guys this is a big problem um now the other thing is what can i recommend you guys i can recommend you that you just um solder here on about uh, 360 till 380 degrees so just set your soldering iron um just set it on about 380 degrees on the maximum because this small uh, pcbs they get really hot and the, the these pads here they get destroyed uh, faster as they get of, of course hotter okay so um also if you just clean it uh, try also sometimes just to clean the stuff uh with um contact spray do not use it always alcohol because alcohol you know it's gonna eat all the stuff here so it's just okay if you just use contact spray you can also clean a lot with contact spray i got here um yeah i'm gonna show you this later and then i'm gonna show you also how you can clean it just 
take a brush like that. I don't know how it calls. <laughs> a smaller one, of course. I got here a smaller one. Wait. <clears throat> take this one here. A smaller one. Then you can just clean it over there. So the rest of flux and all the stuff, you can just clean it easily. Also just with, um, like I told, uh, yeah, contact spray. Okay. It, do it does not need always to be with... Um, um, with the uh, yeah, isopropanol or IPA or whatever it calls in English. So I'm going to try to make on the lights again, but yeah, you can see that really well. Okay, I hope so. I'm going to go a little bit back so it's going to be sharper. You got the problem, guys, okay? This is your problem. Yeah. Just look as on the other side, here on the left side, you can see. Here all is looking just great. You can see the pads, they are really long. Because I have never soldered this kind of chips here. And you can see these pads, it's just like they should look like. But this ones here, they're just some kind of destroyed. Okay? They're just on the half. So the rest is missing. And if you just get a BIOS chip inside... <laughs> um, wait. I'm going to try not to get one here for you guys. So this one here is not clean for now, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to just try to show you that. So now, let's say we're going to just connect the BIOS chip over there. You're going to see that um, the contacts here, they are just missing. See that? If you just place it over there, you have or you will have no contacts to the BIOS chip. Um, okay, but this I'm going to show you later. I'm going to also show you how you can fix that problem. And uh, like I told, it's just recommended here. Um, that you just solder here on uh, lower temperatures. So that means um, you can see I got here on about 350, 60, 70, 80, something about 375 or something like that. Okay, nearly um, 380 degrees. Okay, uh, if you need to solder on bigger stuff like bigger motherboards or whatever, of course you need to go a little bit more higher because the motherboards and some stuff, some big, uh, some bigger motherboards they are of course a little bit colder so you're gonna need more time of course yes so but for the smaller pcbs here it just use about 360 380 degrees and so um, it's also better for your bios chip because the bios chips they just don't like uh, too many heat i'm going to show you also uh, how it looks inside the pcb that you can see that the contact's really not there i'm going to just disable the lights again and now i'm going to zoom back so here we go and then um, I'm going to take you some lights. And then I'm going to try to show this on the lights itself. So not just wait, let it just focus it. Wait, maybe it's just I'm too near. So now you can see that perfectly, guys. This is not just bullshit. This one is broken. See that? You got under there the contacts, of course, yes. But uh, all the rest is just damaged. See that? Yeah, uh, it's a great thing that you can see um, how it looks like. So, without lights, you're gonna maybe not see that. See that? It's maybe difficult because you cannot uh, compare it. But if I go there with some lights, take a look. There you can see that the traces are just missing or destroyed. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the other one. So, now take a look how it should look like. So, um, I hope you like this video for now. Um, how to fix this problem or how you can just still um, try to uh, detect your BIOS chip is. Um, you can, of course, turn this guy here around or to the back and then you're going to be able also to solder it here. Okay, so here you can see, um, wait, let me not just lock this down so I can just lay it down. Yeah, um, you can see here. There's also the symbol, which is just, yeah, just indicates uh, the position, how to solder the chip. So, a little bit, yeah, how it calls unsharp, but I'm going to try my best, wait. So, maybe like that, yes. Okay. Now again, the lights on. Whoop. Yes. Okay. Um. Here's how you can con connect the chip. You see that this is the symbol that means uh, to the left side and there you can also um, 
try try to detect the chip of course so here this one needs to be soldered like that but here on the top okay so i'm gonna now just get this oh it's okay it just stays like that perfect so here now um where is the symbol I cannot see it right now doesn't matter you guys you guys need to check that yourself so i think the symbols here on the left side or the right side not sure it's just a little bit dirty the chip but it's just that you guys can understand give me a second guys so please always patience on my channel um so this is the way you should go here whoop now it's fall down again so just like that i'm gonna let it fall right now see that here this is the way you can also just solder it on the BIOS programmer itself. But I cannot recommend it because with the time you're gonna also destroy these pads here. And that's why um, it's better for you that you can just get a clamp. I'm gonna show you later the clamp on the internet. You can just get you that stuff also. And um, I'm gonna now put this BIOS chip away. And now I'm gonna just show you also a small solution how uh, you can fix this problem so uh, it's not recommended to solder over here because maybe with the time you're gonna just destroy these pads and then it's just sad because this one here is really a nice guy <laughs> do it to it it's a nice <laughs> nice one um yeah what can i recommend um you guys if you are soldering and stuff i bet my ass you got some stuff at home so go and get you some ide cables okay these are some yeah very old school ide cables okay just get them i'm gonna show you how you can fix that with that stuff here so i have just prepared myself here an ide cable already and uh, some ide cables they have um, one cable that is just white and all the other ones are black or white or whatever okay maybe you are maybe you have just one that is just black and all the rest is just white okay but doesn't matter you just take you four cables like you can see here okay a little bit dirty because i have already tested myself some stuff and um that's how you can do that so here um you're gonna be able now um to uh solder this for um let's say contacts here directly um to this contacts so later you're going to be able to solder the bios chip which you see inside see that you want to be able to solder the BIOS chip directly here on the cables. So this is the way you can just, um, how it calls, let's say, uh, fix that issue. Um, otherwise, of course, you're going to need to buy some new PCBs. Or you guys just get you, um, how it calls, the, um, some clamps, some kind of clamps. You just uh, put it on the chip and then it will just stay like that. It's some kind of like that stuff here. You just can lock it. But I'm going to show you some great stuff on the, on the internet uh, in a few seconds. Um, but like I told, you can just now solder that stuff there. So you don't need to throw this away. You can just keep it for yourself. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to solder it for myself because I'm going to not show you that. Um, it takes a lot, um, a long time, of course. It takes always time. All the videos <laughs> that I do takes time. So um, I'm pretty sure you should know how to solder it. I'm going to show you how to fix that. And then we're going to test it. So yeah. See you in a few seconds. So guys, like you can see, I have now managed it um, to solder this kind of IDE cables. Or IDE? <laughs> yes. Um, you can see I have just soldered them as on the place which uh, or where the contacts was just broken. I'm going to try to zoom there so you're going to be able to see that. Um, this was, like I told the other one, that was broken. And you can see still on number five, six, seven. Um, there the pens or oh, the pads are still broken so that means I, I just still have the contacts um, on the side uh, down let's say that on the yeah so now I'm gonna just take again here something to show you um, here you can see just down I have uh, some kind of pad still okay so here just down and here a little bit and here so all about here is no contact. Okay, I have shown you this before. So this is the other guy that you just also can compare. This was the other one which uh, was... Uh, wait, let me just turn it around. 
which will steal okay okay this is yeah this was the other guy it will steal like new okay wait so here yeah a lot zoom so i need to take care of what i'm recording um but like i told on this one here uh, the most was already broken um and i had um i have connected the white cable here from the ide um, I have connected on the number five, which is just the position for the symbol for the dot, you know, so for the for the uh, BIOS chip itself. So this is just that I know for myself that this white one here needs to go to the symbol. I got also under there. Um, I have uh, soldered also some stuff. You can see it's recommend that you just solder first. Uh, let me just open it right now. It's recommend that you just solder first uh, the cables down because otherwise you're gonna maybe uh, have not much space to solder it over there. So give me a second, guys. So I'm gonna just bend it a little bit. Easy. Yeah, it should be enough. And there you can also see um, I have to solder it um, down, which normally, uh, yeah, because the pads they are just destroyed. On the top you can see it very well see that that's why um the pads over there there was just without contact because they are just destroyed so here i'll just try again to show you some stuff with this small kind of screw drill so this pad here is just destroyed because there's a cut let's say like that here the pad is missing same goes for here missing and here also just missing I have sold the, the number four here just down. You got some some kind of circles just like this one. See, see that? And there down, I have just sold it also. So I think one, two, three. Number three is also just some kind of circle. Try to turn it. Yeah, too much zoom maybe, but it should be still fine, so that you guys can see. And number two, I have to solder also about, or let's say on the circle itself, number two. Okay, so that you guys understand. Um, here's number one, two, three, four. And then it comes five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you can cut them also here because they have just down contact. You see that? <laughs> but I have to slide it like it was because otherwise I need to cut it all. But you can cut them if you just like so let me just bend it down again so you can go over there and cut it but whatever um like i told the cable number five is uh, which should be connected also the chip on the dot which is here see that yeah some kind of dirty but you can just clean it all yourself later see that so some dust sometimes so i'm gonna just zoom back again this is just too many zoom or too much zoom sorry um then i have just bent them i have folded these cables just like i need otherwise this will always shake around but you can cut this later also just a little bit smaller for you guys this is just that you guys know how you can fix it quickly so that you can prepare and still um yeah uh, be able to work okay so here again and now let's just talk about the chip itself here's the bios chip you see the dot is uh, up on the right side. So wait, I'm gonna zoom again. So here you can see. Oh, yes. Okay, here I am here. So here, there's the dot. Okay, it's just shaking around a lot, but this is just that you can see how I mean. And that's why I have soldered this white cable on the position that I just know how it should be soldered. And the other white one, see that? I have to solder it diagonal or diagonal, diagonal. <laughs> so the, um, the first one, I got it on the dot itself, up on the right side. And the other white one, I got it on the left side down so that I can just here also be always very sure what you are doing. Okay, otherwise maybe you're gonna just um, yeah sleep <laughs> and then you're gonna do a mistake. Okay, so that's why I have one white cable on the left side down, just that I know my direction or the direction from the chip, just that you guys do not do any mistakes. Okay, so 
And now um, I think I'm gonna not just put also the cable. Uh, I'm gonna put um, the smartphone on the tripod. So here we go. And uh, let me not just take a look here. And then I'm gonna show you also some stuff on the on the monitor on the display. I'm gonna shut off the lights right now. And then. I'm gonna also show you that this is working. I'm not sure because I have just sold it right now. I have not tested it. I'm gonna test it just with you together live. If this will not work, then I need to solder again some stuff. I don't know. But it seems good. Uh, I think it was good and I can solder really great. So um, let's not just look and see if it will just detect the chip. The chip should be detected without problem. The chip is okay. The chip is not broken. This BIOS chip is still okay. Uh, the other thing that I also wanted to show you is, um, so let me not just turn off the soldering uh, station, so here. And now, uh, the other thing that I also just wanted to show you is this one here. You can get this clamp here, some kind of clamp, I don't know what it calls in English. Uh, this one here, you can just contact, uh, let's say you can just uh, put it over the BIOS chip itself. But the problem is that... Um, a lot of people think that it's just enough, um, where is my mouse, here, that's just enough when you just do it like that, see that, on the picture, um, the people here, let's scroll back a little bit, wait, oh, my fault, so here, okay, um, you can see here, um, that they have just connected this clamp on the BIOS chip itself, but this will not work always, the most times, let's say mostly it will not work, because you need to solder it out from the motherboard, otherwise you're gonna need more power, That's that means more voltage, because the voltage gonna lo gonna get loose here over the motherboard, okay, so um, on the first time of course you need to take off the BIOS battery and all the stuff, and the, uh, the second problem is if you just connect it like that, mostly you wanna not be able to read your chip because the power here, 3 or 3 volts or 5 volts, they gonna get loose it here, because it's still soldered on the motherboard and there you're gonna be not able to read or detect the chip so that's why it's always recommend to solder without the chip just like i have done it okay uh what's this one here oh, okay all the stuff here and uh, yeah that's what i wanted to show you you can just get this uh, very cheap as on amazon here uh it calls something like uh key s uh uh here um Socket or Soic 8, uh, blah, 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 test clip, blah, 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 blah. Just Google about that stuff. It's just going to search and uh, find some stuff. And there's also um, uh, how it calls here. The socket just uh, pre-install it, pre-solder it. That means you just need to connect it. It's good if you have the chip in your hand. So you can just connect the chip over here and this will work. This is just the same <laughs> that I have just done it here. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> so, um, like I told, you can get this one here. And uh, this is uh, not bad, of, of course. So, But at last, you're going to need to desolder the chip from the motherboard. Otherwise, it will not work. So um, now, let's just test, oh, let's say, start the software again. And I'm um, going to move it to the left. Um, so always start first the software. I have told you that already on another video that I have just made. Now, let's just... Um, Check that, that all and, and uh, let's see, uh, let's say, um, make the last control, the last test, gonna just again, yeah, seems good, gonna just lock it again, and yeah, it's, it's the right position, blah, 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 okay, um, you also take always care, while you just connected stuff, that the LED stays bright, if you, if you can't just see that the LED goes darker, that means something is wrong, okay, you have here a short circuit, or the chip is just connected on the wrong side <laughs> so the led here gonna get lower and lower and lower and then it's gonna be uh, th th this is just the the problem that you have so if you just connect it right the led should be very bright okay yeah nice if you connect it right the led gonna be bright <laughs> so let's just check it out and yes it stays bright see that it's not getting darker all right now i have just connected it Let's go up again and now let's try to detect this chip and let's hope for the best. I think yes, it's going to be yes, here we go. So here you can see 
This is an MX, uh, MXIC chip, 1 megabyte with 8 M bit, and here's all just written. This chip, I think, is already empty because I have um, just erased it a long time ago. Let me not just take a look if it's still deleted, I'm not sure. I think yes. And then, 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 then. Yes, it's yeah, still delighted. Okay, so this chip is here just empty. And this is how it works, guys. Okay, so uh, you can see it was uh, able to detect. And if it just have uh, no contact on your BIOS chip here, of course, it will not detect. Okay, that means, let's say, I'm going to not just open it, okay? And just get it off. So now I'm going to get again back. And I'm going to try to detect the chip. But of course, it will not detect anything. Because if just one contact is missing, you're going to not be able to detect the chip. Check, take a look. Here, now it's just all empty again. See, here. Ah, no, ah, no, empty, empty, empty. It's all just faulty, okay? So, that's why um, if you just have one contact, really just one on your BIOS chip not connected, there you're going to have some problems. So, now let me just place this back again. And uh, here, let's just lock. And like I told us on my other video, as long you have not pressed read, program or verify as long this guy is not working you can connect it here all the time okay so you can just open it and connect it this now is just not working it's just the led that uh, let's say the um, usb uh, programmer is just connected of course it has a voltage because it's connected to the usb but it will just begin to work as you or let's say just then if you click a button okay so now i got connected it again and yeah, this video is nearly finished. I hope you like this video. And now let's just uh, detect again. And here, take care. And here we go. All is back again. <laughs> okay, guys. So I hope you just like this video. I have for now nothing more to say. And uh, this is going to be again a small kind of update for the other videos that I have just done over the um, yeah USB uh, BIOS programmer CH341A. Okay, one of my favorites, and I look, uh, I work really a lot of that. Or I work really a lot with this one here, and like I told, otherwise you just get a new PCB here. Uh, they cost not so much, but uh, if you just don't want to waste your money, you can just do that, just like I have done it right now. Okay, guys, see ya soon. That was me, NSC in the place to be. <laughs> bye bye. NSC. In the place to be, and see.